What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the build. Here are the components needed to get the engine installed. These components right here. There's the engine, all ready to go. The little 27 banger. Now, right here, I want to show you guys, I was going to use my billet gas cap design, but the billet gas cap will not fit the gas tank. I'm not sure what has happened with the new Roven tanks, but none of my billet gas caps will thread on this tank. Only the plastic cap will. So I made this little deal right here. Sealed the hole up with JB Weld and then drilled and tapped this little fitting in there. And it threads on there no problem. All right, the engine install. I went ahead and got the tank set already, obviously, and got my short line as my supply line and got my long line over here for my primer line. I'm going to go ahead and hook up this line first and then set the engine in there. All right, engine is set. I got the kill switch wire ran around like this up behind the case and we'll get that attached here shortly. First, we're going to go to the other side here and roughly mount this screw that goes right here on the brake assembly, which goes down to into the little mount right here, the little billet mount that I got. And we're gonna loosely put on the spacer at the bottom. All right, everything lined up nice, and as you can see, it's loose. Don't tighten this one, don't tighten this one. Don't tighten any of the screws yet. Now we're gonna go on to the other side, and we are going to get this uh, kill switch mounted up right here. Okay, you guys see the Stacon lead back in there? The red wire goes on that one. What you do is you just take this and fish this back in here. And you take your screwdriver and you just press down on top. There we go. You'll feel the resistance. Sorry, my phone keeps trying to focus on the, my hand. But as you can see, and then once you're done, check it. Try to take it off with the screwdriver. See, it won't move off of there. So that's a clear indication that you're on the plug. You're on the lead. And then, the, then of course this one, you know, just goes on there like that. Now your kill switch wire is hooked up. Now we can put this engine top on, the fan shroud. I really wish I could have had time to paint this, but you know, it's pouring down rain outside and freezing cold, so it's not going to get any painting done. Don't want to forget this little piece. For the fan cover, I like to go ahead and get this mount on, and then I'll fit that up in there first, and then put the cover on. And get the kill switch mounted in there like so. And this just goes on there like that. Gotta give her a little tap over here. All right, got the fuel lines hooked. Now uh, we're gonna go ahead and put these three screws in and you can go ahead and tighten them up on the cover. I made the mistake once of putting Loctite on these and the threads came out with the screw. So I just use lock washers now, like how they come stock. Get them good and tight, tight and right. And I ain't had no issues since. Now we're gonna get these two screws right here loosely mounted in the bottom of the fan cover. If everything's lined up correctly, you should just be able to start these by hand 
with no problem. That one wants to go in there. And sometimes this one is a little stubborn. Yep, it wants to be a little stubborn, so I'll just use my screwdriver and get it started that way. Now that we got the engine loosely mounted, we're gonna go ahead and mount up this piece. We're gonna mount this piece right here. How I like to do this is start from the opposite side, take the uh, short end and just finagle it in there like this and sit it down in there. Again, I like to pre-prep the parts, so I'll prep it just like this and get it all ready to sit down on there. Had this piece laying around. My dad loves skulls, so this is just too appropriate. <laughs> all right, got all this stuff tight here. This one is not tight yet. Motor is installed and mounted up, so you can pretty much go ahead and run everything down tight right now and get everything locked, tightened up. What we're gonna do now is fit this gear plate and make sure that fits and lines up accordingly, which it does. It lines up right over this very nicely. So that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull each screw one at a time and get everything locked, tightened down and have the whole motor, the whole engine cinched down in the car and then we'll get the gear plate installed and make sure there's no drag and all that good stuff. All right, let's get the gear plate installed. I got fresh lock nuts down in here. I'm using the stock style gear plate with a high quality bearing because it's what fit the best. All right, so now we're gonna put these two screws down in here. And I'm gonna get some Loctite on these two screws and get them started in here. This fits flush, so there's no spacing needed behind there. I like to get these hand tight. Spin it, make sure you're still spinning free. Then I'll go over here to these, and tighten these down while spinning to make sure there is no binding whatsoever. Looking good, and then I'll tighten these up. All right, linkage time. Not using anything fancy, just the stock linkage. What I like to do is go ahead and power up the electronics. It's looking like the best it's gonna be centered up. And then this just locks up under here. Put the brake mount in here, then I'll give us a bird's eye view. And there's my linkage set up. This deal right here that goes on the carburetor is a pinch deal. It just pinches together. Sometimes you have to loosen these here and let the tension off of them. And you wanna try and keep this arm as straight as possible. That was as straight as I could get it due to the cogs on the, on the uh, servo arm gear but there it all works adequate brakes lightning fast check out the throttle arm there we go nice she's going wide open now for some gears don't forget your gear spacer and your little rubber piece Just doing stock gears, so nothing spectacular with this engine. Wow. Buttery smooth. This is a 14 millimeter and only needs to be just snugged. Now, it's pipe time. So I'm gonna get the cover off of here, get the pipe installed. 
we're going to go with one of two pipes. We're going to use the TMR small bore dumper or we're going to use this pipe here, the Roven rear power pipe that I've ran on my Wasp several times. I'm feeling like uh, we're going to go ahead and try the small bore dumper out and see how it's going to perform. There she is. Wheel time. Wheels installed. Now it's time for the body. All right, guys. Before I show you all the finished product of this build, I want to share something with you guys. My dad in Vietnam received this right here. The Bronze Star. Because of his heroic deeds. Now, they just give you the Bronze Star for whatever. But this is the... This is the finishing touch. The military build can't be complete without its medals. So this is going right on the front of the car. Now my dad should have received a Purple Heart in Vietnam, but he did not tell anybody that he got injured in Vietnam. And I can explain the injury later. Um, but he got hit with shrapnel when he was changing the barrel on the Ma Deuce. Well... Dad's going to receive a Purple Heart on this car, son. So, Purple Heart and Bronze Star going right on the front right now. There it is. Now Dad's car is official. And the military build is done, son. How about that bad boy? I am very happy with how it turned out. Yes, sir. Man, I love those stickers. Those really just finished the car off nicely. Super happy with those. Well, I hope you guys like it, man. Now let's go have a listen to it. All right, guys, let's have a little listen to this 27. She's brappy, son. Too bad it's pouring down, raining out here. Pouring down, raining. Nice and cool. Look at that. Yes, sir. Well, there you guys have it, man. Well, that's going to do it for this video, y'all. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope everybody enjoyed the build and the sound of the little 27. We're going to get out and wrap this thing as soon as possible. As soon as this rain gets out of here and uh, the weather warms up just a tad, then we're going to get out and run it. All right? So y'all have a blessed one. I'll see you on the next one. Eastside RC is out.